Greetings, everyone. This is Professor Jump. Thanks for signing up for this class. I'm glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to do to be successful in this class. So once you've logged on to Schoology, scan your list of courses and look for the one labeled Music Appreciation. This class. When you click on it, it brings you to the Materials page. So this navigation bar on the left is your friend. If your screen doesn't look like mine, then maybe you have the Updates tab selected or the Gradebook tab selected. So let's start on the Materials tab. And then let's open up this folder called Start Here. Sounds useful. And then inside that folder, there's another folder labeled Course Overview and Introduction. So let's take a look. So the first thing you should do is download and read the syllabus. You can just click on it and it opens up here in Schoology. And you can also download the file, which is down here at the bottom. I'm going to go through everything important in the syllabus, beginning with textbook information. You'll like this. There is no required text for this class. I will provide you everything you need here on Schoology. Though I do have some reading assignments derived from common music appreciation textbooks like The World of Music by David Willoughby and The History of R&B and Soul Music by Stuart Callan. But there is nothing required for you to buy. You can click on the Instructor Information tab if you want to find out more about me. Importantly, if you need to get a hold of me, my email address is here, bjump at centralstate.edu. Please feel free to email me with any questions that you might have about this class. Let's look at the description and learning outcomes of this class. This class is an introduction to the elements of music. It outlines a method for intelligent listening with emphasis on today's popular music and Western classical music. Previous training in music is not required. Just a general overview of music and how to listen wisely. That's what this class is all about. Here's the learning outcomes. After you take this class, you should be able to identify instrumental timbres and different genres of world music, describe the elements of music, and the customs of music making, summarize the history of 20th century popular music in America, we're spending a lot of time here, a lot of good stuff there. And finally, you should be able to appraise the role of music in human life generally. We're going to take a look at the world's music, how music evolved, and how music functions for humanity. It's interesting stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the course schedule so we can see how this class operates. Now, besides the first day of school, which is a Tuesday, new material in this class comes out every Monday. So if you pay attention to this class in Schoology each Monday, you should stay on top of what's happening. So each week, I'll issue some sort of assignment or some sort of assessment either lecture quizzes or reading assignments or listening tests. Also listed is when the midterm exam comes out, March 1st, and when the final exam comes out, April 26th. So if you're ever confused about what's happening or where you should be in this class, check out the course schedule. Let's look at the performance evaluation so we know precisely how you're graded in this class. Okay, so this class consists of 500 points. You get your percent if you divide your score by 500 and times it by 100. You'll get 100 to 90 for A, 89 to 80 for B, 79 to 70 for C, etc. Pretty standard issue. 
So let's take a look at where those 500 points come from. The first 100 points consists of the lecture quizzes. So there are eight lectures in this class, and each one has an accompanying quiz. So they come out mostly every week. There are a few weeks that we miss due to the midterm and other assessments. But check out the new lecture week to week, read it or watch it, or study the PowerPoint, and take the quiz. And each one of those quizzes is worth 12.5 points. Okay, pretty similar are the reading assignments. And there are six reading assignments, which total 100 points. And the first five are worth 17, and the last one is worth 15 to total 100 points. There are four listening tests, totaling 100 points, with each one worth 25 points apiece. There is a midterm exam, which is based on the lecture material. It's worth 100 points. And there's a final exam, also based on the lecture material. It's worth 100 points. So one, two, three, four, five, 500 points. Let's take a look at the grade book so that you can keep track of your points. The first thing you'll need to do is toggle the selector switch in the upper left-hand corner and choose no grading period. Then the materials start to show up. And as you can see, I've already uploaded the lecture quiz, the first listening test, and the first reading assignment. So there are three pieces of coursework available for you this first week of class. And as each new piece of coursework is added week to week, more of these cells will be populated and you can keep track of your score that way. An important thing to take note of is how I communicate with the class. So week to week to make sure that everyone knows that there is new coursework, I post a new update. So notice that the Updates tab is selected here on the navigation bar. And once you do, you'll see what amounts to a blog roll. Every week, I post a new email, essentially, that consists of important details about what's happening this week. And I typically put it in audio format and text format. So if you don't want to read, you can just listen to me reading through the material for you. And these little blog posts, these updates, they function like a discussion forum. So if you want to comment on them or like them or ask a question, it's a good public forum for this class. So please feel free to ask me anything that you want concerning this class via the updates tab. Also, if you need to get a hold of me directly, you can use Schoology Messages, which is this envelope icon in the top right hand corner and that functions a lot like email so if you have some time destroying emergency or you're confused about some piece of coursework just go ahead and email me and I'll get back to you usually within a day let's go back out on the materials page and take a look at some of these things included in the performance evaluation so on the materials page are featured these folders, the start here folder, which we've been investigating. But there's also the lectures folder, the reading assignments folder, the listening test folder, and the exams folder. So let's take a look. Inside the lectures folder is the lecture series. And as you can see, I've already published lecture one, Music on Earth. This is what's expected. I have here for you a PowerPoint, a Word document and a video. It doesn't matter which one you consume, they're all the same. Maybe you can watch the video while reading the document or maybe just study the PowerPoint presentation. It's up to you. When you feel confident with the material, then click on the lecture quiz, Music on Earth. And you can start a new attempt. And you'll notice that these questions here correspond precisely to the material you were just studying. Now, I have these quizzes set so that you may take them up to three times with Schoology only accepting your highest score. So it might be a good strategy to study by just hurling yourself at these tests or these quizzes and you know getting them all wrong, seeing where you need to study and then taking them again and getting an A. Okay, so there are eight such 
quizzes, and they are inside the lectures folder. Also, the reading assignments folder, and similarly, I have already published reading assignment one, and it's pretty similar to the quizzes. The difference is the material is from common music appreciation textbooks, and the quiz is not multiple choice, but fill in the blank. And when you answer these questions, you have to type in sentences with your own clear thinking. Please do me a favor. Don't go to the internet, get some piece of junk, and copy and paste it into the answer. I'll know instantaneously. And it's bad for you because you don't learn anything and you fail the assignment. And if you continue to behave like this, then I just report you to the dean and things get bad for you. So you don't have to blow my mind. Just answer with your own clear thinking. Okay, let's go back out to the materials page and check out the listening tests. Okay, listening test one is already published. It corresponds to the music featured in the first lecture, Music on Earth. And this is how these assessments operate. Click on the listening links document. And I have the material here in several formats. First of all, I just uploaded the MP3s right here to Schoology. So if you're on Schoology, you'll be able to play these. If for some reason you can't play these songs, then I've also included YouTube links. In any case, study the material. Click play. Test yourself. Take note of the name of the song. And it should be familiar because it was featured in the lecture materials. Once you've studied the music, click on the listening test assessment. And let's start a new attempt. And here's how it works. On the left hand column are those embedded mp3 files. Number one, you play it. You take a listen. And you decide which one it is on the left here. I can't hear, so I'm just going to guess. That might be wrong, but you just fill in all the answers. And click Submit. I guess you can review your answers and then submit. Nice and easy. There are four such listening tests throughout the semester. So in summary, there are eight lectures, there are six reading assignments, there are four listening tests, and there's a midterm and final, which I will post to the exams folder, but there's nothing in there right now because the midterm is not till March and the final is not till April. Okay, let's check out one last thing inside the Start Here folder. Let's look at this non-graded assessment. Do you know how to take this class? Question one, how many points are possible for this class? A, 1,000, B, 600, C, 2,000, or D, 500? Okay, hopefully you remember. The answer is D, 500. Question two, how many lecture quizzes are there? A, 6, B, 10, C, 8, or D, 9? In this class, there are eight lectures. How does one take the listening tests? A, click on the lecture folder, study the lectures, and write an essay about the music's impact on society. B, click on the listening tab, study the listening materials, and take the listening test by matching audio files to the correct song titles. C, click on the start here folder, study the reading assignments, and take the final exam. Or D, click on the reading assignments folder, study the materials, and take the listening tests. So hopefully you got that it was click on the listening tab, study the listening materials, and take the listening tests by matching audio files to their correct song titles. Question four, when is the final due date? A, April 3rd, B, May 7th, C, May 1st, 
or D, February 18th. The final due date for this class is May 7th, 2021, by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Question 5. Which pieces of coursework require you to open documents, read their contents, and answer questions? A. Exams, B. Listening tests, C. Reading assignments, or D. Lecture quizzes. Now, technically, both reading assignments and lecture quizzes require you to open documents. Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, read their contents, and answer study questions. The difference is the reading assignments are from general music appreciation sources and the lecture quizzes are my homemade music appreciation sources. Question six. The midterm exam covers the first five lectures and the final exam covers the last three. That's true. The midterm exam is slightly more demanding than the final exam. Question seven, is there a textbook required for this class? No, you're welcome. Question eight, when is new coursework published? A, every second Tuesday, B, every Monday, C, twice a week, or D, twice a semester? The answer is every Monday. So please stay tuned and pay attention every Monday and you'll see something new in this class. Question nine, how do I communicate the week-to-week goings-on of this class? A, telephone, B, updates, C, messages, or D, email. I communicate week-to-week via the updates tab. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope that it helps you get an A in this class. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Take care, and I hope you have a nice semester.